What's up guys, it's Van Zeeben back from Designs by the Fear, and uh, today we're going to be flipping sprites around because uh, what we want to do here is instead of just having drawing multiple images for like a, a walking sequence for example, you'd have like a, a left foot and then a right foot forward, etc, etc. Uh, we're just going to flip them back and forth because we don't feel like drawing and copying those and wasting data like that. So we're just going to flip them around from here. Uh, so it's going to be quite easy, it's going to be a shorter episode today, and then uh, we'll get into some other stuff tomorrow. So first things first, we're going to have to draw an asymmetrical character here. Um, this is because when we actually flip them around, we want to see the change. If we were to just flip this, it would look exactly the same in any direction that we flipped it because of what it is. So we want to draw something that has something different in each different quadrant here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to draw an F because an F is a is an asymmetrical character that we can uh, view the changes on. So I'm just going to draw a quick F here and pad this with uh, some black and there. So there's an F. Uh, we have these four different colors so we can see what's actually being flipped and if we run our program it'll look similarly similarly simil similar to what we did last round except now we just have an F there. So, so yeah that's that. Uh, we're going to change these colors up as well because these colors aren't very pretty. So uh, the colors that we're going to use here is we're going to use that 505, the um, the purpley color, and then we're also going to add these colors in here. No, uh, 550, 550. So this will just make it look a little nicer. I might switch these. I don't know, depending on how the yellow looks. Yeah, that works. So these these look a little nicer than the than the, the full on force of that that green and white and stuff. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to have to say where we want to flip. We need some sort of variable. So there's two different ways we could do this. We could just pass in two Boolean operators here, so like a true and a false to flip it on the x-axis, and a true and a true to flip it on the y-axis. We can do that. Uh, another way to do this is to use bits, again as we did before, to determine which way we're going to be flipping, but we'll just stick with this, um, this way for now. And then Boolean y mirror. Actually, let's call it mirror y, mirror x, and mirror y. Okay, so now if we're mirroring the y, the x, uh, what, all we want to do here is, this is what we made this variable for, um, all we're going to want to do here is we're just going to want to flip this. So instead of drawing 0 to 8, we'd be drawing, or 0 to 7, we'd be drawing 7 to 0. Okay, so it's very simple. So we're going to say if mirror y, uh, y sheet is equal to 7 minus y. And that'll give us the, the opposite, the inverse of this y sheet. Uh, we'll copy that down and do the same thing for the x. Okay. And x. That should be a capital. And now let's see if it works. So we're going to run it. And first things you'll notice is we are flipping, oops, uh, it is flipping this way. I will put this over here and I'll drag this screen over so we can see it a bit. Come on, right there, that works. So this is what debug mode's for as well. So if we change this to false, it should go back to normal, which it does, that's perfect. So we're gonna say true here and it flips it this way, which is good. We're gonna say false now, goes back to normal. Uh, we're gonna say true on the Y axis and you'll see it does flip it upside down correctly. And we will say false here again, just to verify. And I'll say true on both axes, just to see if we can get a fully flipped thing, which it should do. And it does. So yeah, that's been that episode. Um, it's quite easy today. Actually, what we'll do is, um, we'll make it look a little nicer. Flip uh, x equals to, let's say, x percent 2 equal to zero and flip y uh, y percent two is equal equal to zero oops okay and flip x flip y yeah so now we have little boxes everywhere so all four quadrants do actually work correctly so that's perfect and um, so we'll change these to ones just to make it flip like this. So we do have a box here, as you'll see, which is flipping in every single quadrant now, and that's throughout the whole thing. 
So that's been this episode. Uh, it's a very quick episode today. And tomorrow we will probably get into uh, some actual level, some sprites. We'll do some sprites tomorrow. I'm going to record that episode right after this one. So uh, thank you, and I will see you guys next episode.